This game is a lot of fun. Let's get started. As with all servers, we want to first assign our dedicated server a static IP. So we're going to go to start and type in CMD. Gives our command prompt IP config space forward slash all. Gives us all of our IP version 4 information. We want to set that aside. Go to start settings, network and internet. Network and internet. There we go. And ethernet. Change adapter options. Right click and properties. Here we're going to find all our IPv4 information where we're going to put in the information we got in our command window. So we want to change our options here and put manually put in our IP address. And you'll see it there. Go ahead and type it all in there. Usually once you finish putting in the IP address you can tab twice and it'll put the 255.255 blah 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 in there for you. Default gateway and DNS are in almost all cases going to be the same IP address. And then we're going to tell it OK. And close out all the windows. And now we've assigned our dedicated server a static IP. So while we're on our dedicated server, let's go ahead and load our server game files. I want to go to C, dead server that we created earlier. Open up our Left 4 Dead install file in Notepad++, of course. And that's also the commands we're going to use for a game updater. So let's open our Steam CMD directory. Go to steamcmd.exe double click it and we're going to use those commands so we're going to log in anonymously log in unanimously all right we're going to give it our directory path and of course our steam app ID and it starts the magnificently boring install and if you've ever been in the Linux world, you watch a lot of this. All right, we're going to magically skip ahead and do some cleanup after our install. Okay, once that's completed, you want to go into your Left 4 Dead directory. Our dead server left for dead. Now this is optional for you to do. I, I do it simply as a matter of cleanup. So go into the left for dead directory. You'll see that there's a lot of language packs. Um, I just eliminate those. You don't have to do this, but I do it as a matter of just saving some disk space because I do use a smaller hard drive on my server. Next we're going to of course put our icon out on the desktop. Here you'll notice there are several Left 4 Dead, a couple of icons, uh, .ico files, and a Left 4 Dead .exe file. Those are not executable within this directory. The SRC DS .exe is the source direct a dedicated server. It is a Half-Life icon which is strange but I found out that the uh, company that made Left 4 Dead also made uh, Half-Life 2 so they share the same game engine. Um, so the easiest thing to do for me is just put the source dedicated server to the desktop and then change the icon to one of the ones in the Left 4 Dead directory and then that gives you your Left 4 Dead icon on your 
desktop. Uh, there is one other important thing. Um, you do want to read the match the match with them the readme file, which in it states the server participates in matchmaking, which is very different from the servers that we've installed in the past, where you would give your IP to your friends and the port numbers, and they would automatically be forwarded to uh, onto the server. This is a matchmaking broadcast, so you'll see in some gameplay in the playlist of, of for Left 4 Dead, you'll see where I've started my server, put it in matchmaking mode, uh, which means it's allowed to broadcast on the internet. And I have people from the community joining my server that I'm playing on in my house. Uh, you'll also note that when you start the server it wants to use 27015 as the port number. If you followed the Conan Exiles tutorial you'll notice that it is the same port as Conan Exiles. Now there's two options here that we can do. We can use this to share the port with Conan Exiles or we can create a new port number. And I'll show both of those options in the port forwarding section of this video. If you choose it to use if you choose to use it shared with Conan Exiles, the two servers cannot be running simultaneously. Only one can be running at a time if they're using that port because when your friends try to join or somebody tries to join they'll get uh, knocked off or uh, they'll get try to get logged into a game that, that they're not expecting or you know all these crazy things will happen but I'll give you both options in the port forwarding section of this video and that's pretty much it uh, as far as the server goes uh, everything is up and running uh, let's get on to port forwarding all right we're gonna get into port forwarding here in just a second but just so you know and you understand I'm obligated under the law to make sure to ask you to smash that like and subscribe buttons and to share this video with a friend because you're obligated by law to to do it Well, no not really but it would be nice anyway port forwarding seems to be the big secret on the internet and I'm and I'm not sure why there are a lot of dedicated server tutorials out there that you could be watching but you're watching mine and I appreciate that but I hope that you're watching it because the information I give you is complete and I don't hold anything back and I'm actually trying to teach you how to do the things all the things to set up your own dedicated server and I hope I don't leave any information out if you find something you want to see or do please make sure you mention it in the comments I'm happy to go back and, and do it all right, so let's get on to real life port forwarding. So you're going to log into your router and you're going to look for firewall. Under firewall, you're going to find port forwarding. Some routers will have a link for port forwarding that'll take you straight there without having to look through the menus. Now you'll see that I have a 27015 Conan rule already created. I'm going to delete that so that we can create one that is shared with our Left 4 Dead server. So we want to select a destination or a device in this case. Destination host, your router may call it several things, but it's where we want our traffic to go to. What, our, what is our destination? Then it wants us to select a rule. Now mine has a drop down, yours may not. It may just simply have you type it in. I select custom so I can name it myself because the naming convention you use for these rules is very important. Keep them simple, keep them very understandable exactly what they're for. Because if you go messing around and have to troubleshoot and don't know what 
these rules are named and what they're for, it's a pain if you have to delete them all and recreate them and all those things. So make sure your naming convention is the same. So here what I've done is I've simply created a new rule and called it Conan Left for Dead TCP rule and gave it the 27015 port. Now technically that's no different than what was there before other than I named it and understand now that both those games use that same port. So if I have both those games running and I run into trouble where friends can't connect, they're connecting to the wrong game or you know just whatever, I could go in here and see oh this is Left for Dead as well is Left for Dead and Conan running it simultaneously if so I need to turn one off. But this is not the optimal way we want to pour forward our games. So we're going to eliminate the Conan Left for Dead and we're going to recreate our Conan uh, 27015 port And let's choose our host. Our destination is going to be our dead server. And of course, we already have a Conan TCP rule in there that we're going to create. And we're going to put in 27015 as our port number. And we're going to add that rule to our list. Then we're going to recreate, we're going to, or recreate, uh, create. <laughs> are left for dead. So we want to select our destination where we want our ports forwarded to, a host or whatever it's named on your router, and we're going to call it left for dead TCP. And it's a TCP UDP rule. And we're going to give it the 27016, just one number up from Conan Exiles. You can go back on your server when you start the server and change that port in the server interface. So now that's created with 27016. So that's our rule for Left 4 Dead. Then we'll go into our server and we'll change that 2716. I'll show you that in a minute. And how you join is very different from uh, standard regular internet play as well and I'll show you that again let's go over and when it asking me for my device that is my destination where I want the ports to be forwarded to uh, you can manually enter the IP address if you don't have a drop down option the public IP address you usually don't need your your router if it's interface is external interfaces public facing then you won't need it. If you're behind another router then you'll need it. That's a whole nother tutorial. Um, so application name is simply what you want to call. That's the name of the rule whatever your router happens to call it. Just put in the name so that you understand it. And whether it's a TCP UDP rule put in your port numbers and you're done. On your dedicated server, you want to start your Left 4 Dead. You'll see that it's still at 27015. We're going to change that to 27016 like we did in our firewall. Just change that to a 6 and start our server. And let's go into loading the game. Loading the game is a little different than it is in single player or regular internet play. You'll see that we have a dedicated server in our bottom center. It shows our dedicated server. We have to create a lobby and the type of game you want to play of course. I just created campaign. Server type, permissions, we want public games so that we can have people from the community join us. Create a lobby and start your game. Well, choose your characters and you can start the game, but I like Lewis. Seems like a dude I'd hang out with. And then start your game. And your game will start in, as if it was in single player and pretty soon you'll have people from the community joining you and you'll have players on your dedicated server. That's it for today. I'm Lou the Picked.
This is Crack Mods and Gaming. I want to thank you for watching today. I hope that you've learned something. I hope that you've taken something away from this and build your own dedicated server because this is one of the funnest servers to have. If there's something you need me to explain or I wasn't clear about, please feel free to comment. Make sure you smash those likes, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. I'm Lou the Picked, and I'm wishing you all crack gaming.